Hey, what's up? How's it going? Shane and I are out here the opening weekend of turkey season. We were out here the opening day and the day after, and it's been a challenge. Getting our butts beat. Yeah. These turkeys aren't gobbling. We hear them a little bit, but that's about it. And the one we had coming in on, uh, it was opening day, right? Yeah, that was opening morning. Yeah, opening morning we had a gobbler coming in on the road and all of a sudden we hear some noise and then there's a truck coming ended up being a tree service for this lease out here and they decide they're gonna do a survey well they shut that gobbler down and we got it confirmed by them later they were like man if you'd have been on this road you could have shot your bird there was one strutting when when i drove by and yeah we kind of told them yeah that's the one we were hunting and he put two and two together and realized that he ruined that hunt but anyway uh, wind's been pretty heavy out here weather's been really nice but it's super windy we're walking around now it's a little bit early i think i think it's a little bit early this, every time we see these birds they're with three or four hens and then they're gobbling on the roost flying down into a flock of hens and then we hear them gobble again just before dark gathering them back up to go to the roost so i think it's just still just a little bit early Alrighty, so we made our way back to the wood pile we got some decoys set up we have a strutter a feeder hen just a standing hen the wind has been 20 plus mile an hour today it's it's pretty bad so we haven't heard anything other than the one bird we heard this morning and that was a shot gobble and it didn't reply to anything else other than that so just setting up, the decoys are set up for a line of sight. So to the left, there's about, I don't know, if you really look at it, it's probably about a mile that you can see the road so straight. And then to the right, we've got about 200 yards. But to the right, we're um, at, you know, about 120 yards. There's a cut road that a couple uh, long beards crossed the other night and went out in the clear cut. So now with the decoy spread a little different, hopefully if something chooses to walk out there to get in the clear cut, then you know maybe it'll maybe it'll turn right and come check out our decoys. But um yeah you know, we're sitting up about probably 35, 40 yards from them. And that that wind is making that strutter decoy dance. I I might have to replace the stake after this. It'd probably be bent but out of that beautiful day um perfect you know no clouds in the sky weather is great just super windy so would have been a perfect turkey day if that wind would have stayed down so anyway gonna go ahead and shut this off and just get back to staring at the road and see if anything walks out from the left or the right you didn't let me shoot that one i'm sorry <laughs> uh, oh so shane and i we're just coming to set up on this uh, cut down that we heard a, a gobble in the direction and there's a freaking tom just standing there coming out of strut because we walked up it, uh, well girlfriend's right over there. Pulled, pulled the trigger and he's down so sorry he didn't get it on video it just happened really fast oh man well, let's go check him out I mean, that was what, probably a 50 yard shot? <laughs> oh yeah, he went down like a stack of bricks. Well, let's see. That was awesome. Of the well, all right, well, let's, let's get some video of this guy. I'll get the nice camera out.
get him back in the truck and then go get you one.